In my last video, where I showed you how I do a seal transfer, and I showed you that in two see-through vessels, you can see the magic happened when a beer gets transferred into another vessel. We also talked about gelatin and uh, clearing beer, and I got a question from Marco who said, can you please show how clear that beer was? So you see, how that beer looked before gelatin, and now we get to see how that beer looked after gelatin. And I'm also gonna show you another beer I did with gelatin, where I did a little different approach to the same thing. I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. If you want to learn with me how to become better at brewing and beer in general, consider becoming a subscriber. Clear beer with gelatin. Why, why do we want clear beer? Sometimes we want clear beer, sometimes we don't want clear beer. And gelatin is amazing. It works wonder when we say gelatin makes clear beer, we mean clear beer. In a normal batch, I use one teaspoon of gelatin powder, and I just pour that in a sanitized glass container, and I pour boiling liquid, about a deciliter on top of it, and I add it to the cold beer. You can add it straight into your fermenter, you can add it to the keg. Clearing the beer gets super fast with gelatin. So, try it out, and if you're vegan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's have a look at the beer. This beer was actually clear after three days, but this keg has a floating pickup. This is the Fermenter King Junior, and you saw it in the last video. I will also link down below to the review part one of that. So here you have the, the beer. And uh, it's a lager, and uh, the recipe for both of these beers are already up for my patrons to dig into. Hopefully you can see how clear that is. It's crystal clear. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is how clear it gets with gelatin. It gets crystal clear. In my last video, I showed you how to add the gelatin close transfer, but as I said, just put some gelatin in some boiling water, let it dissolve, and you can add it on top of the beer in the keg. And now we come to the next experiment, or you can add it directly to your fermenter also, of course. A friend of mine, Mikael Bernelind, asked me after watching my videos, if he could add just the gelatin in the bottom and then rack the beer on top. And I said, yeah, you could do that. You, you could like shake up the keg. So I thought I should try that. Add the gelatin first, rack the beer on top of the gelatin, but don't shake it. So I can get, give Mikael a better answer. This beer though has a deep tube so it wasn't clear after three days because it's drawing beer from the bottom. It takes more like a week, something like that. Let's have a look at the result. So, Mikael, I did not shake the keg. And let's see if we can see the result. Know how well this will pick up on camera. Yeah, you can see, see things clear through it. It's a dark beer, so yeah, let's see if I can find some, some light here. It's a dark, <laughs> it's a dark beer, so it's hard to show you guys on camera, but it is clear, it is clear. So that method works. Mikael, now you know, and Marco, Thanks for your question. Hope that answered it. How clear will beer get with gelatin? It gets super clear. Woo. If you're interested in digging into the big Dr. Hans recipe book, go and check out my 
Patreon site and see if that's something for you. Support the channel and uh, yeah, get a bunch of free recipes. I'm in the middle of recording a big Christmas calendar for my patrons and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Record another episode for the Christmas calendar and guys, I have some great news coming that we're gonna discuss on Patreon today. Not today when you see it maybe, but today for me. So cheers guys and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Cheers, Dr. Hans out. Now go and watch this video.